Critical raw materials are materials that are crucial to global economies and have real impact, particularly at the moment, on low carbon and energy storage industries. Nickel predominantly is used as an alloying agent, so it's used in the manufacture of stainless steel and also specialist alloys such as super alloys which are predominantly used in the aerospace and mining industries. In 2018, about 60,000 tonnes of nickel uh, was used in electric vehicles globally. That demand is set to increase by 2025 to at least 600,000 if not more tonnes. My name is Rob Harris, uh, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for DesCycle. DesCycle formed in 2018 with a partnership with the University of Leicester, taking Des technology and applying it to primary and secondary metal recovery processes. So nickel is sourced uh, predominantly from the mining industry where they go into a series of complex, either pyro or uh, hydrometallurgical processes to separate the target raw materials from waste materials. The major process for processing nickel lateritic ores. This is a highly capital intensive process which would set someone back well over a billion dollars to set up. It requires high pressures, high temperatures and requires very specialist equipment. It is a very polluting process as well. Typical processes can range from anywhere from 15 to 50 tonnes of carbon dioxide emitted per tonne of nickel produced. Our solution to sustainability of nickel production is to use a technology such as the deep detecting solvents or DES as we now refer to them. They're a platform chemistry with well over a million combinations of formulations. They use very simple organic salts with simple organic molecules as well to form fluid systems at room temperature that are highly conductive. They can be designed to specifically take out the target metals from nickel laterite ores efficiently. They're user-friendly solvents, they're environmentally benign, they don't require specialised equipment and so they're a very, very scalable and commercially viable technology. What really excites me is seeing major improvements over existing processes in this space and what we're trying to achieve with DayCycle. Cycle.